അഭിഷ്ട ഭാവമായി മഞ്ചരി മൂഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ എം എ രാധാ ദാസ് and the moment you go out in german they say kaput <laughs> that's yes. right we do wrong things we are not normal we are conditioned marginal or independent yeah. second one is abhishta bhava sambandhi these are those practices related to one's cherished mood such practices surely deliver the desired goal wow practices related to one's cherished mood what are these practices മഞ്ചരി വെരി സിമിര but the very funny say breathing move as man day something like that hey so the first one is absorption and the second one is making some mantra this the desire to make practices which are favorable like Lila smara like bhajana kriya doing everything in this feeling remembering who i am remembering my name remembering my color remembering my service trying to do everything what i do to connect and this such practices surely deliver the desired goal and the third one is abhishta bhava anukul those practices which are favorable to one's cherished mood Abhishtha means, which is favorable. Abhishtha is, I think, the desire. Yeah. Abhishtha Baba Mai, always thinking about one's Siddha Baba. The Baba of the Mantra. Abhishtha Gurdi, does this have something to do with Ishtha? Abhishtha means, as for my desire. In the direction of my desire. In my sarup. In my sarup. In my sarup. Once I wish, I get it. If I wish to be in material body, I will be in material body. 
I wish this is my dinner. And if I want to live in my saru, not live. I will do that. I wish the Bhagavan. What is my make desire? I become like that. And how the my association it affects it's more strong. Favorable means uh, like now we are here in Vrindavan, we have uh, all the devotees who have the same desires. Let us make a powerhouse of. It's like an explosion. We are with Gurudev, we are with all the Rasika Vaishnavas. We are under the lotus feet in the shelter of Radha Muhammad in Vrindavan. This is like a festival of favorable circumstances. And Madashtami is coming around the corner. What else can be? <laughs> then there is another description of Abhishya Baba Abhishya Those practices which are neutral, neither favorable nor opposed to one's desire. <laughs> Yeah, it also in the in the text it will be more explained. Yes, yes. And then is Abhishta Baba Viruda. Those practices which are detrimental or not so favorable for the attainment of one's desired. <laughs> yeah, now comes explanations. Hmm? Mm -hmm. The first is Avishta Baba Mai, always thinking about one's Siddha Bath, the Bath of a Manjari. This will never be changed. This is style. 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 Fixed. Fixed. Yeah. And if I don't have a style Bath, then I will cry for it. No. Then I will desire that. I will think, oh, would they, oh, help me? What is this fixed move? How can I attain? <laughs> now he is asking the same question what is Abhishta? And the answer is the object of desire. The object of the desire. Das Objekt aller Wünsche. Das, was man sich wünscht. But Gurdiv said, if I desire something for my senses, for my body, then also this can happen. If I desire for my soul form, then this will happen, come true. Abhishta refers to what we want. What we want and what we are. And what we are. <laughs> I want to not in myself, I want to out. This my desire, what to do? What we want, we get it. I have fought for that and I got it. We have to fix the desire to what we want. And can we get both? <laughs> then nothing will get. One has to get. Gold should be one, then we get it. And then we get Mandaripa. That is the only point. Then we go. It's spiritual. Material and spiritual is not go like this. I this is my marginal energy because I want ping pong candies, very spiritual and prestigious leftover, totally material. What is what is transcendent? My my particular body. Transcendent means what? Change. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Transcendent. From 
material to physical body. That is transcendent. That transcendent change. That is the change. It changes. Yeah. Like my blockage can change. Yes. Out of blockage. My blockage is my material body and material consciousness. Just I open it and then you describe. Now, now you see sometimes it was hard to get it. Yes, yes, thank you for me. Sorry, I started because this is the basic and then Maharaj will enlarge that. This is the base foundation where you will fly from this base. If this base is not clear, you cannot fly. This we have is to know the airport and the gate. Today. Yeah. This is the gate. Yeah. This is the gate that you have to in in the flight. We have to enter the gate. Then fly will happen. <laughs> then we have to sit down and move. Yeah. I will repeat. Abhishta refers to what we want. Abhishta means what we want and Abhi means surely. Absorption. Abhi means now. Yeah, also now in the present. No. I have no time. And absorption in this mood will surely give us the attainment of our <coughs> cherished or desired goal. So this is interesting because at first we have to uh, determine we have uh, we have to find goal. What is our goal? The what is the process of uh, to attain goal? Then also what is the relationship that is goal? So everything happen according to our desire. Material thing, also spiritual thing. So, which we want? Material objects or spiritual objects? Spiritual objects also, which Baba we want? We want to Sakya Baba, friendly relationship or Basaria, <coughs> that's a, like a parent food. Or Madura Baba, Madura Rasa, Madura Rasa is a Gopi Baba, Saki Baba, and also Manjari Baba. So, someone who likes Krishna more than Radha. That is uh, like Vishama uh, Sneha. Exactly. And some, someone like Krishna and Radha, almost the same. That is Sama Sneha. But the Sama Sneha Saki. And sometimes they're moving, sometimes go to Krishna, sometimes go to Radha. So this is the Guru Devi said, this is Sanchari Baba. So 
the Sanki Baba. What is Sanchari? Sanchari means moving. Like a ping pong. Sometimes Krishna, Krishna sign, sometimes Radha sign. But the Manjari is fixing one point. Manjari is Stai Baba. Manjari Baba is Stai. So they don't they don't change the mood. They see Krishna is Radha's Krishna, Radha's mother. But the other Saki may think, oh, Krishna is my Krishna. But the Manjali never think like this. Always thinking Krishna is Radha's Krishna. So Manjali does not want to enjoy Krishna directly. So never think like this. This is the beauty of a Manjali Baba. Radha Sneha. Radha Sneha. Mm. Absorption in this mood will surely give us the attainment of our cherished goal. Then comes Abhishta Baba Sambandhi, and after that, Abhishta Baba Anukul. <coughs> Do you know the meaning of uncool? Answer favorable. Shilagude, yes. Also, we may adopt whatever practices are not unfavorable. But we avoid those practices that are unfavorable. If a practice is favorable, we accept it. And those practices that are neither favorable nor unfavorable can be accepted or rejected according to. And then one devotee Burjan says practicality. And Srila Gurudev answers according to the atmosphere. Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur further explains the five aspects of Raghunuga Bhakti. Abhishta Bhava Mai means also. Whatever we practice, whatever practices we execute at the time of our sadhana, the practices that we do to attain our goal will be the same at the time of sadhya, attainment of the goal of life, the stage of Siddhi. Perfection. Yeah, underline. This is seven thousand. Why not perfection come? Because do I decide something and I'm doing something? No, I don't mean. I say you, you repeat. <laughs> yes, this is important, Guru, what you just said. That <laughs> why? Prabhupada is an Anandas Baba. Do or yes. not do, that is our bhagavad What we do, 
sometimes we know, but we don't do it in the right way. And then the goal is not attained. Maybe feelings or realizations will not come. But when we go into the deep fixed feelings of mantra and service, in all circumstances of our lives, then the goal will be reached. Is in the best case, Sadhana, everything we do? Or in the best case, everything we do during the day, Sadhana? One side. No, no, talk, talk to us. Bring one more mic. We can share with you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep this mic there. Yeah. Yeah. No more. But it will be bad. So my question was, is in the best case, everything we do during the day, Sarama, or maybe explain Uh-huh. So, like uh, housewife, there is a housewife. So, housewife means she has a husband, but uh, she has another level. So, then what she do? Always thinking rubber. Whatever like in you know, a house, you know, house affair, cooking, or taking care of maybe children, always thinking, oh, when I want to see my lover. So always that meditation is there. So say this way. We have to fix all this in our history and see that I am doing the service of her house. I am a housewife of certain sites, but this all is happening for her. That is this, this, that I do everything for one. This is the point. That is not that I do today for something I do. Today. This is a side is to do in yourself. All do normal way, but mind has to be in your this is the, this is his home, this is his family, Radhika family. My God, Asunda is there. He do all services, but he think I am cooking in Radha kitchen. He making the all houses, but he think that Radha kitchen. Man, outside he do, but thinking is there. And how deep, slowly, slowly he is going to deep relax it. Because of only this thinking that he is service in kitchen as well. Not kitchen, he never go in kitchen. He sometimes maybe, but he is not kitchen, but he is doing really living in this field. So when he talks, he's a spy bomb. Never deviation. I would like to say that in the beginning it may seem like an effort and something that I have to consciously remember. Oh, now I want to remember my Swami 
this time he does. But I just recently read, uh, I think in Nilav Kushmanjali Baba's purport who did, that he said, after some time when meditation become very strong and fixed and thick, then also Shivanti Radhika is reciprocating and they are coming into our life. It's not that we try to remember them or her, but she is coming also to say things to us, speaking and coming in our memory. That is uh, amazing. That is very blissful state. I mean, I'm not there yet, but <laughs> I read it. So it must be a very good stage. And then the sadhana is uh, also not only sadhana, it's uh, love exchange, not like a duty, but it becomes alive. But gopis are looking in, in like a different way. That ideally I'm thinking. But Radharani, every moment, she dressed for Krishna in mind. And um, decoration also do Manjari, then she is thinking that. But Manjari's are fixed in Radha. They married because of that, that materially fixed and spiritually. So we have to fix materially and spiritually. So, uh, uh -huh. what was that? I'm yeah. just good if it's explaining the different moods, like a uh, general gopi who was in love with Krishna. Different. General gopi bar. For Krishna. She, she is hiding me, thinking for Krishna. Oh, when will I see him again? How can I? <coughs> you know, I am in love with him. But, um, but for Shimatiratka, she's naturally always connected with Krishna, with everything she does, with everything she feels, and the mantras are helping her to remember with everything they do. But the mantra, they only feel the love for Shimati Radhika and service to her. These are the three kinds of uh, feelings or moods that we can observe. And we have to fix in one feeling. All feeling we want to feel it, then it is sunshine. Yes, if we get mixed up, then we are floating. Now we are discussing about it theoretically. So we learn that different different moves. But topics are fixed on the surface of Shimati Radhika, Sardasi, and not thinking about other moods so much, only uh, fixing our own feelings. I also, Guru Dev, we used to uh, say this Abhiman. Abhiman is I am Radha Dashi, I am Manjari, nothing else. I am not the Guru, I am not the Sannasi. I'm I'm not a Brahman. I'm not a Kshatriya, a Baisha, a Sudra, or even Ma. I'm Indian. No. We are Radha Das. This 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 identification is so important. And then in this Abhima, if we could give materially and spiritually and 24-7, it will be uh, we may attain. Uh -huh. 
As they will also do in their spiritual form as a manjari. Both remembrances are the same, but one is unripe and the other one ripe. The subject of the mood will never change. Just as Kirtan will never be changed, whether be performed at the stage of Sadhana or Siddha. Siddha means perfection. You get it. I do it Siddha when I have not reached one point. Never. Many points in my life I will never get such success. No? Siddha means perfection. You start to develop that practice. She is a three-year therapy, so very, and she is a very fixed, very nice. Mm. Her health is not very strong to do, but she know the tricks. She did that everything begins <laughs> from long distance. <laughs> So this is the perfection of our body, fear. <laughs> so when you want things, practice in your life and develop perfection, this is how to understand the ice. Yes, Gurudev, and she does it with such an enthusiasm and love. It's not artificial, no? and she gets. Uh, she is giving so much service, but she is at the same time getting so much uh, empowerment because she said yesterday to me that when she touches the people, she feels she is touching with the love to Shimati Radhika. Yeah, the mind is there. She is just a bit. Radha Das, this is Radha Das. That's a blessing. See? This perfection comes. Yeah, this is perfection. When you feel this flow, she says, she feels the flow. Yes. <laughs> and one thing, when one place perfection will happen, you can relate everything. Yes, that's an important point. You can you see that. When it happens in one place, no, like now you have this feeling you, know, you are connected and flow is coming very close, then you can. Feel it for other areas. You can feel how it will be in other roles, like Manjari Bhav, say. Like uh, and I say, I never see that she can explain something and ask, explain something in the translation. She translate. I was watching beautifully. She translate because she understand a tribe. How is that? Sanchari not but before she has a Sanchari bar. That's the mercy of Saruma. Yeah, see? Edmund, that's what it is. The sadhaka's absorption 
Constitutional means our eternal nature, our soul force. Especially for us, this is Manjari. Manjari. Yeah. Manjari. Manjari. Yeah. This absorption is called Abhishta Bhava Moi. Such sadakas think of themselves as Kishori gopis, teenage gopis, engaged in Radhika's service. Yeah. This is. My Constitutional position and Sai Bhav. Yeah. In their meditation, they see themselves as cowherd maidens, making very beautiful garlands and giving them to Rupa in turn, Rupa Manjari gives those garlands to Lalita and Vishaka, who place them around the necks of Radha and Krishna. <coughs> this type of meditation is called Ashta Kaliya Seva or Ashta Yami. Same. Here's some uh, note to this. Should I read this explanation? Lord Krishna's eternal pastimes. Nitya Lila. In Vrindavan are called Ashtakali and Leela. The 24 hour day of Shishi Radha Mahan is divided into eight parts beginning with the Nishanta Leela, the pre dawn of waking up persons, Prata Leela. The morning pastimes, Purvan Lila, the forenoon pastimes, Madhyam Lila, midday pastimes, Aparam Lila, afternoon pastimes, Shayan Lila, dusk or dawn, no evening pastimes, and Pradosh Lila. Later evening pastimes and Ratri Lila, night time pastimes. With such thoughts in mind, Sarakas. After such presence, and in their Siddhadeha, they actually engage in such service. There is no change in the service. It is only a question of being in the unripe or ripe stage.
Was this mentioned? Está mencionado. There is Sadaka Deha and the Siddha Deha. Está en Sadaka Deha y en Siddha Deha. So this Raghunathas Goswami. Está en Raghunathas Goswami. And sometimes Siddha Deha. Algunas veces está en su Siddha Deha. And sometimes Sadaka Deha. Y a veces en el cuerpo de Sadaka. Means en Siddha Deha, en spiritual body. En su cuerpo espiritual. Uh, she is she's serving as Manjari to, to Swamini and Swamini's Mohan. So sometimes vision is clear. Actually, reality is in this, in, in, she is in that past time. But sometimes, because we have Sadaka Deha, we have to come back in this Sadaka stage. And then, vision, Vira, disappear. And then, so much feeling, strong feelings coming. Like uh, crying and a very strong feeling for hankering to 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 see our Swamini, to serve Swamini. Then uh, Raghunath Das Goswami desire is so intense, so strong. One point. Then again, Dira is coming. So similarly, this strong feeling and make us and this spiritual body and sit the Swarupa. Because spiritual body Siddha Deha is the feeling body. So, if this feeling is so intense, the condensed, then that's Siddha Deha. Slowly, and surely, surely manifest. So, this is. So, and this, some Siddha, is, is, is spiritual body light. But our Sadaka, still we are going on, on the way to, to, to perfection. So this is, we are not to light it. Like a mango. mango. So green mango, mango and yellow mango. So green mango is very hard. Smell is not, to, not to very good. But uh, if mango is light, then softness is coming. Also very juicy. And also color also changing. Aroma, smell is so nice. So similarly for spiritual body, uh, this aroma, Fragrance also so transcendent, divine. But our this body's fragrance is not so good. So due to our sadhana, if we are fortunate, if we are concentrate, if we attend Sky Baba, and then Slowly, slowly, this Siddha Rupa will be like.
तो वाय वी आर लिविंग गुलाब को समांजलि आधार साधक देहा टू मेक द कंडेंस दिस ऑल द पास टाइम ऑफ राधा रानी meditation will make my sadhaka they are condensed to to develop this consciousness then my bhav will really aspire he is not a philosophy once time i listen i i i understand understanding will not work it has to realize by practice explain that without realization we will not understand so realization how to develop realization we are every day practicing to to realize it in different different circumstances we live and different different circumstances How the Acharyas, Rupa and Ragnar Goswami, help us in different circumstances how to you improve yourself. So, Dev, I often uh, honestly I observe myself, like you say, to check myself. Am I living in the knowledge about these the subject, mm-hmm. or am, am I in the feelings with uh, Tulasi Manjari and Rupa Manjari? Am I touching their feelings? Mm-hmm. Is my heart melting? What is happening in my mind? And where is my consciousness fixed? Mm-hmm. That is uh, our. how you say homework and we can be honest it is often most of the time uh, jumping also and sometimes it is fixed so when it's fixed then i am blessed and i get realizations when i uh, read or so the new feelings come and i can confirm also with my other sisters and school day we and ah oh, yeah i feel this but this is right and we can help each other like this and if i am living more in the duty or like bhakti bhakti consciousness of repeating uh routines or maybe no routines then i i, I know oh, i have to fix my i have to come from manovriti to chitta vritti from the mind to the heart to the feelings and again you know how you always say to it pump it up <laughs> you always say we have to we have to increase our yeah spiritual senses no when i feel i am very much in the material senses that happens okay then uh, come back to my spiritual senses come back to my good uh, association a lot of hearing a lot of surfing like this that is the then the mercy can flow with it yeah and become condensed yeah condensed means like the milk when you boil it down it becomes perfect and we have to make condensed that is yeah we cannot always live in the liquid <laughs> with the water Put more water. Go down. Also, Guru Dev used to say, "So we need only this two books: Lada Rasa Sadani Di Bilapak Samanjari Ananta Dasvaki." But we understand. So I say, when we understand and practice, then we need others. Because this is not a philosophy. This is practice. Then all will be crystal clear. Everything will be crystal clear. So then, why Ananta Rasmahana? 
<coughs> because he is completely fixing one bar, style bar. So if we read some book, Sanchari Bama, then we cannot style bar. We cannot be in style bar. So therefore, we have to associate with, with someone who is in style bar. Also, some book which is written in one style bar. As Manjari is a book is there himself goes on. It's not that it's a book. It's Goswami himself with his words. This is called the Mahabani. <coughs> so greatest words from Sita Purisha. And I feel today there's different feelings also coming in relationship to the book. It can also be seen as a mantra speaking to us, guiding us. Without he is not in his Siddha there. Siddha was there, he cannot write that. Yes, and it cannot help Even us. the pen, who has a pen and who writing, they have to be in Siddha was there to write this. Everyone has to be in Siddha. And to understand this, you have to be Siddha. Something on that way, a desire is there, then you understand. Greed is there, some stage of consciousness in that direction is there. Then we realize and understand it. Where? If not, then not possible. So is the PSG course. Why PSG? Because are you prepared for that? Are you prepared for intense intensity? One pointedness. I have one question here about this meditation with the Trinarayan Maharaj is explaining that as a cowherd girl making beautiful garlands and giving them to Rupa Mandri, and Rupa Mandri is giving garland to Lalita and Vishaka and then they give to Radha and Krishna. But what about my relationship of Manjari, I think more maybe to my Guru Manjari, and then she will give He is showing this bar yeah. of Mahaprabhu. Yeah, order. Mm. Uh, Mahaprabhu. Yeah. And the Rup Manjari is making garment, Manjari. Yes. And giving to Larita Vishaka, Sarup Damodar Ayramu. Right. That is like a kram, I know. Yeah. And in this meditation, he writes. Yes, yes. So it's also fine. Very beautiful. Yes. But what I just want to say, it's okay that uh, we can go different ways also. No, no, no. You don't need to go different ways. The Siddha Purus who write that way. Don't use your mind. Go in that flow. Okay. That's it. Live there where they are flowing. In that flow. If you want your direction, then that is not archa. There is no following the Vani of Vani means the words of Siddha. So you flow on it. Yeah, in that moment, that's a flow. But I think in, when we read Vilap Kushmanji Kurti, there's also another flow from Tulsi Mandri to Swamini. Yes, yeah, so that flow. We have to flow in that flow. Yes, what is given by them? By their mind will not use. Mind will break in. 
that is condition. The condition will go out with the food. Mm. When it starts flowing, the blockage is not there. Yeah. Now let us consider the second principle named Abhishta Baba Sambandhi. Everything has two causes. Padana Kara and Nimitta Kara. Do you know the meaning of these two words? Nanoda <laughs> Maharaj, the material cause, Tamai Krishna Maharaj, and the efficient cause. The material and efficient causes. Shilaguri, what is the meaning of efficient? <laughs> Let us take the example of one earthen pot. The earth, both raw and baked, is upadana. And the potter is nimitta. <coughs> Nana is a <coughs> person to do it. Who is, one is the... Nimitta means he is not a doer, but he, he is appointed to make this. Transforming. Transforming. Yeah. Earth into pots. Yeah. The creation of the material world has two causes. Nimitta and Upadal. And of these two, Upadal is more important. The ingredients are Eminent cause is prakriti, upadana, and the instrumental cause, nimitta, is karana dakashai vishnu. In the matter of cosmic creation, karana dakashai vishnu is Nimitta Karan and Advaita Acharya is Upadan. Do you understand? Tamar yeah. Krishna Maharaj says, we were recently teaching this in our Brahma Samhita class. Here in Raga Bhatma Chantrika, Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur tells us about the Upadana Kalana, the prominent cause of greed. One eminent cause is Shravana. Hearing from our Diksha, our Shiksha Gude about Krishna, that Krishna, who is a beautiful teenage youth, who looks extremely sweet as he holds the flute to his lips, and who inspires Gopi prayer.
Sri Guru will also tell us about those particular gopis, namely Rupa Mantrari and all of Srimati Radhika's other mantras, who are the abode of that gopi prayer for which we aspire. Yeah. Yeah. He, is, he is making the gopi yeah. prayer first with Krishna. And then he says, our Guru will give us this uh, Manjari path. Yeah. It's good for Kaliya. We not understand that is my it's so complicated that we can choose to get practice. Why not to practice every day and throw in the more easily? It's so technical. Yeah. If you're not always in center of flow, you go out in different ways. So he continues, he says, if this is our ambition, huh, that's uh, Mantari path, then to follow these gopis, Rupa Mandari, and Srimati Radhika's other Mandaris, we should remember them and talk about their activities. Yeah. You see, that way Radha Gandhi is <laughs> That is the process, this fixing and this cooking and this condensing. Uh, we should go, also go, to all the places of the past times, such as Radhakund, Shamakund, Iraj Govardhan, Vrindavan, and Vamsi Bhatt. Such devotional services are called or designed as upadana karana, essential practices, which will hastily bring us to our goal. Some practices are the meta karana, such as putting on tilak, wearing kantimala, taking sannyas, and wearing sephra cloth. Means like external. No? Yeah. External. Yeah, it's not. It, it's not. It's, it's 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 not necessarily saying anything about the depth of our feelings. No, no, no. Shila Vishwanatha is gradually clarifying the subject matter. Some practices are known as upakaraka. Do you know the meaning of upakaraka? Guru Jandal says it's primary, the proper translation for this word. Primary means completely necessary. Shila Gurudev. Upakaraka means that if you engage in this kind of practices, your bhakti will progress, you will gain, and if you don't, you will be the loser. Such practices include reading Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> And similar Vaishnava literatures. No? 
Upakantaraka means beneficial and therefore it refers to those Upadantaraka, Karana and Vinita Karana practices. <laughs> That's very interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. 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 Yang meditation, hearing, and remembering. These practices are all Baba Sambandhi or Upadana These practices are necessary, and in all such practices, it is essential. To always be in the center, the root ball for which we have agreed, Sakya, Vatsalya, or Madhuya. Here again, he is more in the, in the general description no? from the Tashna position. So taking shelter of a bona fide guru, mantra japa, chanting mantras, dhyan, meditation, hearing and remembering, all these practices are Baba Sampandi or Upadana Kara means essential practices. But it is essential, he says, to keep in the center the root bar for which we have read. In our case, Andrei Again, in Sadhana, that Baba, Abhishta Baba, is unripe, and in the Siddha stage, it is right. Sama Krishna Maharaj is asking the idea of Upadana and Nimitta is not clear yet. Shilaburdi first is Baba Moi. The actual greed for that particular mood, Manjaribha. Second is Baba Sampandi, which is Upadana Karan, engaging in those essential practices which quickly give that mood. <laughs> Without Guru Padashraya, one cannot attain this greed. Hearing from Shri Guru and serving him are essential practices and are therefore called Upadana Karana Baba Sambandi. Sorry. <laughs> this is uh, some technical. Sanskrit words, but we we understand that for the mood that we want to attain, we have to do the right practices, and we have to have one guru who is also helping us to to go into that particular mood, and then quickly the result will come. Without Guru Padashaya, one cannot attain this point. This book should be Dashka Bhajan. Otherwise, that Danga look at the greed, she may not come. Not to develop. Yeah, we have 
have to also see the circumstances. They are sitting there. Sheila Proudpart has left since 20 years. And they want to advance. And Srila Guru Dekharai Maharaj is telling them, you need to have a guru who has this greed for monetary power to be able to quickly get it and to advance. Otherwise, no chance. And you see, Prabhupada, when we are in the preparatory class, he said, this is the goal. Sarupa, Sarupa, Sarupa. So you can understand, I want to show you that this is our goal of life, Sarupa, Sarupa. Krishna is not a goal. Sorry to say. Krishna is when a, what Krishna made it? Then prayer. Raghunath Das Goswami is not telling Krishna. It's a plain prayer. Do your Ishta, Avishta, Ishta, Avishta. And it cannot become without Avishta. Not in Sadat Deha. And without intimacy, not happening. If I have no nature to intimate with someone, where I am bringing to that? Huh? You see that? We have to be intimate. So, why I become angry to someone? With my desire, I want to hammer the false I am talking for false now I see the false and I say to false go out. This is not your place to speak. Go leave him. I get a Buddha. It's a Buddha. Is it good? You can love if you are angry with someone. I say this I want. That he realizes. Buddha lives for some moment he realizes. Again he will cover. Yes, that we have not realized. This is our position. In Srimad Bhagavad, I one phrase I see, not one Bhutas, eight ghosts are covered to me. Oh, you can imagine. Mahabhutas. I forget. No, we are, we are, we are. Suffering only with the small boat, <laughs> and his Mahabhuta is ca catching us. Eight or seven, I don't know. I cannot do, but I was surprised when I listened. Buddha and seven, eight Buddha to one person. <laughs> Explain. This is the point. To know your constitutional position when I will live in my material position, we are not balanced, my dear. We are very, very suffering because of the Buddha, because of the and demons. Please, Rama, remember. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have four. Yeah, you can also use one. When you see that, you care. <laughs> you ignore your decay. They are very tricky, good. They, they, they make that we think this is ourselves. <laughs> we are the Buddhas. Maha Buddha. Yes, this is the one. You are very fun. <laughs> so remember the Gopal Mantra, the Kama Gayatri, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Mantra are all Baba Sambandhi. Oh, yes. When <laughs> remembering Kim Goraya Swaha, we <laughs> will we utter words only when we remember our mantra, like Kim Goraya Swaha. Will we utter words only? It should come in our hearts. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Sri Gauranga is Krishna himself, and that is kindness is causeless. <laughs> And of course, also Sri Mahaprabhu is always in a mood to give Krishna prema through his mantra. Give Goraya Swaha. In order to attain his service, we offer ourselves to that Gauranga by the word Swaha. We are therefore advised to chant all these Gayatri mantras given to us by Guru three times every day. This is also Upadana Karana. It is a must. Because then we are for our real self, not Buddhas. <laughs> then uh, Buddhas cannot occupy us if we offer our real self to Guranga, then everything will change because he is more powerful than, than we self. We cannot fight against this Buddhas, but he can do in the form of Gurudev. He will show us our false ego. And the Buddhas. We don't recognize this. We think it is ourselves. Because they are very tricky. Right? I think every one of us can uh, has this experiences of the false ego. When we get criticized. <coughs> like this, then we can easily uh, uh, feel, uh, oh my God, where is it, where it uh, sits, the false ego. And um, so how Gurudev explained this now so nicely, for this he attacks sometimes, and we think he is attacking us, but in fact, he is attacking false ego, so that we can see that, that we can recognize this false ego, this parasite who is sitting on our real self and getting our energy. 
And so this is his mercy. And for this, he is giving this mantras also that we can conquer or what to say, defeat our real enemies inside, not outside. This is Gurudev's mercy. So sometimes we get the punishment. What we think is the punishment to ourselves, but it's in fact it's to our false ego. And then we come free from this and we can realize our real self. This is completely different from the false ego, the real ego. Now is a quote of Chaitanya Chaitanya Madhya Lila. Actually, the inhabitants of Vrindavan are very dear to Krishna. If one wants to engage in spontaneous loving service, he must follow the inhabitants of Vrindavan and constantly engage in devotional service and smile. <laughs> Following one of Krishna's beloved associates, according to his inner desire, the sadaka always chants the mantra. This is Upadana Karma, a very important practice. But he not only chants, he remembers. The predominating deities of Arina, and he remembers their qualities. <coughs> he remembers the qualities of Ra and Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, as meaning Radha Ram. And in Hare Krishna, he remembers that Hare is Srimati Radharani. The phrase Harati, Kunju Iti Hare Krishna Harati, means that Krishna is attractive to all. But Srimati Radhika attracts Krishna and enchants him in the Kunja. She is therefore Madana Mohana Mohini, the enchantress of the enchanted people. Meditating in this way, we chant Harina. The Hare Krishna mantra is a Siddha mantra. So no ceremony of Purashara preliminary purification procedures need to be performed along with its utterance. Chanting the mantra in this way is a practice of Baba Sambandi. And therefore, such chanting is Upadana Karan, essential practice. Suniti, you're, you're right there to follow the uh, to Una, inhabitants. inhabitants of Vrindavan. What is the meaning to follow the inhabitants of Vrindavan? This is very interesting here in this point. Because to follow those, uh, they are 
without false ego. They are in their real Swarup, fixed in the Swarup. Some are friends, some are gopis, but all inhabitants in Vrindavan, even the cows, are fixed in their uh, uh, Swarup and identification. And so, again, we come from the point of false ego to the point of real ego. So, because of this, we have to follow the inhabitants of Vrindavan. They are fixed in their uh, Swarup and identification. And if we follow them, even in, in our case, it's uh, it's clear. It's a manjari in the uh, mood of the manjaris. Then we are really follow the inhabitants of Vrindavan, right? Yes. Then I feel here that uh, the last two pages, maybe. Srila Gurudev Narayan Maharaj is uh, sometimes giving the bhav of Mandarins and he says we want to follow Srimati Radhika and sometimes he's speaking in a general way yeah. of the inhabitants uh -huh. of Vrindavan, yeah. of the mood of the friends, of the mother. Yeah. So, and then he's saying here that. When we practice Maha Mantra with the feeling of our constitutional position or Baba Sambhati, the aspiring mood that we want to attain, then it becomes really essential or it's it's uh, chanting in the, in the sambanda of, of uh, my eternal being, eternal self. That's the point. That's the real point, Sunit, you know, that we know who is chanting. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, uh, if we don't know who we really are, then we have to ask who is chanting. <laughs> so that means there is some some uh, mundan, some wealthy uh, person is chanting to whom to, to if we not clear this position of ourselves and of the ishtadev then we have to ask who is chanting to whom and for what and for what <laughs> So this it makes not so much sense right but if we are fixed in our salut and we we fix in our uh, ishtadev, then the the, the mahamantra will will uh, open, and and uh, the the power of the mantra will will coming in the same moment. If this is clear, but if this is not clear, you can chant fifty years, and it will not open. His beauty, the mantra. Shainanda. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. So, mantra means personality. So, now and nami is not different. So, if we really understand, then we could associate with that personality. Who, who we chanting? Mm. It depends on our consciousness. Also, depths. Depths. So, therefore, I would be able to especially recommend the chanting directly, Nandana, on beat. Previous society, we only chant by hand. But uh, by chanting on beat, I feel more effective and uh, more powerful. If we are fortunate, we can feel it or see it. 
So that's I can say. Mm. Yeah, question. I was thinking now we have had so many topics. Yeah. No, maybe uh, some questions. So please help me to understand. Um, I heard that um, the goal is not that we actually chant the Maha Mantra, but one day that the Maha Mantra is revealing to us that Maha Mantra takes over our tongue and our feeling, that the Maha Mantra is chanting us and not we are really sitting there and I'm chanting now the Maha Mantra from the mind stage. So I don't know if I am right. So yeah, this is what I want to ask. If this is our goal that one day Maha Mantra will take over and chant us. Hmm? Hmm? So it depends on our consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> Because mantra is a mantra has everything actually. So like a good time with chanting Maha Mantra. And he could see Radharani embracing Krishna. And also Krishna also embracing Krishna. And why don't you come, Jiva, Manjari? Why don't you come? We need you. So that's also possible. Therefore, this mention Hare Krishna Mahamantra and Sita Mantra. Then, question may arise. If Hare Krishna Mantra is Sita Mantra, then all, we can chant only Hare Krishna Mantra. Mm -hmm. So then why we chant Gai Sri Mantra? This is a very deep subject. So I cannot answer nicely. But my understanding that this. Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, just three. Hare Krishna Rama. So, according to the past and the consciousness, we can we can see different way. But the Gayatri Mantra is very clear. Because uh, we could see personality. And these uh, mantra there, our desire to use purity. And also, Gayatri Mantra, Sampanda Abhide Prayodana, Samanda Abhideya. And also, Gayatri Min. Gaya means life. Three means safe. So that if we chant the Gaya Tri Mantra, this not safe means not only liberation, but also enter the past time. It's so, therefore, it is recommended a chant of Of course, someone who like it, that person can chant to die to remove so my understanding is like uh, Gayatri Mantra, we can see clearly personality. 
to whom we worship, to whom we want to associate, to whom we want to serve, to whom we want to understand. So that is very clear. But the Harekisha Mantra is uh, depend on our consciousness. Someone who is a very elevated person, he can get everything from Mahamantra. At the same time, we are difficult to penetrate, <laughs> especially for me, like me. So, so that is why. So. So beautiful. Chananda. I can also see like you that this is a personal a personal way. If we like to understand the Mahamanta, this meeting of Rata Mohan together with myself, first we have to become a what's heißt bewohner number? Inhabitant. Inhabitant of Vrindavan. That means the British Parsi. To come in relationship to Radha Mohan. And for this, this we cannot create by our own power or whatever. So we need help. This help comes in the form of Gurudev who bring us by the mercy of the personal mantras, what he is giving to us in relationship to those who can bring us in the relationship of Ratha Mohan. That means, in our case, the Manjaris, we are Manjaris who, are, who need the help of Lalita, of Anand, Ananda, Ananga Manjari, of Rupa Manjari, of other personalities who can bring us in the personal relationship to Rata Mohan. And when this is, takes place, when we come by their mercy, by chanting the Diksha Mantras in the personal relationship to those, then they bring us to Radha Mohan. And when then this person, this Manjari is chanting the Maha Mantra, then the goal will arrive in the Maha Mantra. Then we come together with Rata Mohan, what Gurudev is explaining when he explained Mahamanta. They're inviting us, Hare Rama, right Gurudev? This is your explanation of Mahamanta, so beautiful. We can go in the circle with Rata Mohan as a Manjari. And it all depends on the personal relationship that we get by chanting the Diksha Mantras in full face of the mercy of the Guru Dev. Yes. I got the answer of the question. Yes. Why Rupa Manjari gives to Lalita and Sushaka? So there are two types of pastimes. One is like it, given all, all the groupies and Manjaris are also there, but it's <coughs> With all group of gopis, I think everywhere. Yes. Right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And some place are there, I mean, it's confidential parts. Where the neighbor can be. That place, Rupa and Dati, 
Yes, and I would like to add because the question of uh, our dear Milo Vashakti was how is it good Rudy, to be understood when we say that the chanting or the Maha Mantra is taking over while we are chanting that we like it's not I who's chanting anymore but they are chanting us like Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtana. This is like the Maha Mantra takes over. That was your question. Is this something that you can share something on this good day? How Maha Mantra? One time, yeah? I asked my Guru. Guru, I cannot stand. I have no interest in that. Honestly, I see. I I am the pressure chanting because you said. <laughs> that not bother us. You don't need to chant. I will chant for you. <laughs> the day he said to me, from that moment. I developed testing. So we are not testing. This is Gurudev who helps me to rely so fast. Our condition cannot understand anything. Our condition cannot do it. Who is only interested in material thing? he can do the speech. In the all mercy of Gurudev that happens in our life. This is mercy. This is his navigator. But after that, he is not a good. Always I say, be Sangha. One day all you will become Guru. Be Sangha. You are the way, not a good. They are the good. That real is preacher master. Who, who is that? Narayan Maharaj, Prabhupada, who show you the good. They are the real lovers of Mahaprabhu. They are the real lovers of Radha Krishna. They are the Rasikas and they are all one pointedness, never take anything for his head. He gave everything in the service of Radha. Thank you. 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 Thank